Okay, in this video we're looking at the AnthroDesk single motor desk and how to replace and remove the hex drive and the motor. It's not something that will have to be done commonly, however, if there was shipping damage or moving damage, if you're moving your desk, then it's something that you would look at. So the first thing you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and then one of the Allen keys that comes with the assembly. Uh, there are two of the small ones. It's the one that will fit into that set screw on the cylindrical stop on the hex drive. So with those, what we're going to do is unscrew the set screw for the cylindrical drive stop. And this is looking at removing that hex drive first. You may not need to remove out the motor. So you'll slide that out, hold the cylindrical stop, and there is the, the hex hexagonal drive shaft out. Now, if you're simply replacing that, if it had a small bend in it, then you could put it back and you don't have to take out the motor assembly. If there's a larger bend, or if you have to take out the motor, then you'd have to do more. So you could hold that cylindrical stop and slide that shaft in. There is a, a stop clip there, so you know which end to put it in. And then you would tighten up the set screw and you would be good to go. Now, if you need to replace or remove the motor assembly, then you would have to do that hex drive removal again. And then what you're going to do is unscrew the, the Phillips screws on the end motor bracket. So remove those three screws. And you can hold the motor while you do this because there's nothing else supporting it if you have it in this position. and then you can take out your motor. Now there is a cable connector in the leg. So you can pop that out. You should be able to just carefully pull it. And there is a wire clip. You can press one side and then pull it apart. and then your motor is completely dissembled. So reconnecting everything with your new parts is essentially the same as taking it apart. Put the wire connector back in, slip it in, then you hold the motor back, align the three screws, Start threading them in, and then tighten. Now you will want to watch the alignment of that motor and just make sure that it is straight for your, your short hex drive shaft. And again, you want to note the, the stop clip on that hex bar so you'll know what side it goes in. And then just check the alignment again.
doesn't seem like it's it's perfectly going in you'll want to look at those screws in the motor and just make sure that you have that alignment it should be move, able to move smoothly in and you should be able to put that cylindrical slide in there to, to tighten that stop and hold it in the motor, hold it in place. You want to make sure it goes right against the motor. And then you'll tighten it up with that Allen key. And then you should be good to go and get ready to start standing.